Hey there, and welcome to this ProFlows quick tip on how to create light wrap that actually works well for you. So if you don't have a third party plugin to do light wrapping, here's the way you can do it manually. And this approach is a little bit more superior in my opinion to others that exist out there where you use effects like set mat. Um, and I teach the other approach in Beyond the Parallax Effect. This is a little bit better approach that I've learned since then. What's great about this approach is that you can use this on any size images. So in some other approaches, not to dive too deeply in them, you have to have images or pre-comps that are set to your composition side and you have to pre-comp and do some extra steps. This one's a lot easier. So I have a beach scene here. You can see it's just a photo and you can use this for CG renders or whatever. This is a great technique to really blend images together. Okay, so I've got a beach lounger here. I love the beach. And here is our 3D render, or it could be a photograph, whatever. Uh, we want to blend it in a little bit better to the background here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the scale of this down, just something like that. So there it looks okay, um, but it doesn't quite look like it blends perfectly into the background. And to do that, we need to do light wrapping. This approach works for any size imagery or CG renders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our first our top image here that has to be the light wrap and we're going to go to channel and we're going to go to channel and we're going to say set channels and we're going to set each of these channels uh, red to our background green to our background and blue to our background so there we go so now the image just blends into the background just like so next we're going to apply effect Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. And for this, a lot of times I like to turn repeat edge pixels on just to be safe. I'm gonna crank this way up to something like 50. So it's nice and blurry here. This number will depend on the size of the imagery that you're working with. So it's all about trial and error here. And we can always come back and adjust this at any time. Next, we're gonna to go to Channel and we're gonna Invert. And we're going to actually invert the alpha channels. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. Select invert the alpha channel. Well, looks a little bit funky, but the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into channel and we're going to go to CC composite. This is a very powerful plugin that is often overlooked. We're gonna set this to stencil alpha. And so now we're starting to see here, we've got our, our light wrapping happening. If I turn off the background, you can really see what's going on right there, okay? So last thing we have to do now is just go back to CC composite again and we can actually duplicate this effect or we can just add a new one, set it to screen and untick RGB only. And there we go, there is our beautiful light wrap. You can adjust the Gaussian blur settings at any point uh, here to get the light wrap to really change in its appearance. So here we're set to 50. If I drop this to 25, you're gonna see it's a much softer light wrap here. Uh, so if I go down here and I just turn the effects off, I want you to look to the edge of this chair. No effects with effects of light wrapping. One other quick thing I want to point out is besides just playing around with the actual blur level and getting a softer or harsher edge wrap, light wrap, you can also play around with the last composite setting of screen. You can change this to something like lighten. It's just going to be a little bit more subtle. Um, you can also play around with different transfer modes like multiply, add, overlay, things like that. You're gonna get completely different types of light wraps by playing around with that. That is how you quickly build a light wrap that works inside of After Effects.